Let's go through another example of second order circuit to find the initial and final values of current and voltage. So we have the circuit here with a voltage source, resistor, inductor and other resistor and a capacitor with a switch. The switch will be open at t is equal to 0 and when t is less than 0 the switch will be closed. This is capacitor voltage and here is inductor current. Given these values, we have to find initial value of current and voltage and we know the current at time t is equal to 0 negative is equal to current and voltage at time is equal to 0 positive and for B part we have to find value of voltage and current just after the switching time. And in C part, we have to find the final voltage and current when time approaches infinity. Let's move to the solution for A part. If the switch is closed a long time before T is equal to 0, it means the circuit has reached steady state. So at T is equal to less than 0, just before the switching time, the switch is closed and the circuit reached DC steady state and at steady state we know that capacitor acts like an open circuit and inductor acts like a short circuit. So we will replace capacitor and inductor with open and short circuit respectively and redraw this circuit. Inductor will be short circuit and capacitor will be open circuit. Again simplify this circuit so here is a short circuit and the other resistor and capacitor which is open circuit will be excluded because there will be no current flowing through this branch. Now this is the final circuit and we have to find initial current which is equal to V over R by Ohm's law and here V is 24 over R is 6 and current is 4 amperes. As we know current just before and after the switching time is equal so I at T is equal to 0 negative and T is equal to 0 positive is equal to 4 amperes. Now similarly for the voltage we have in the circuit is 24 volts. For the A part write our findings here because these values will be used again in the solution where i is 4 amperes and v is 24 volts let's move to part b at t is equal to 0 positive just after the switching time and at switching time t is equal to 0 the switch becomes open as the switch is open it becomes an open circuit and remaining circuit is the same now simplifying this circuit this open circuit will have only this part and voltage source will be excluded. So redraw this circuit. Now we have only a source free RLC circuit where there is no source but we only have resistor, capacitor and inductor. So here is the inductor current and capacitor voltage. Now here is the final circuit and we know VL is equal to LDI over DT and here DI over DT is equal to VL over L. Now apply KVL. Here is the loop and VL at time 0 positive with this polarity and here is the voltage across capacitor and here is the resistor and 6 and 4 ohms resistors are in series so we can add them that is 10 into I because in both these resistors the current will be same so 6 plus 4 is equal to 10 ohms and current is i so from here v0 positive is equal to 24 volts by part a here the value of current from part a is 4 amperes so vl 
just after the switching time is equal to 24 minus 40 minus 16 volts put these values here minus 16 over 2 henry's and this is minus 8 amperes per second not volts for part b so here di just after the switching time di over dt is equal to minus 8 amperes over seconds now to find dv over dt we know i is equal to c dv over dt from here dv over dt is equal to ic that is capacitor current over capacitance we can simplify this circuit by combining both the resistors that are in series that is 6 ohms and 4 ohms and that makes 10 ohms. The capacitor current IC it will be equal to the current that we have found already that is I0 positive that is equal to 4 amperes. Put the values here IC is equal to minus 4 amperes over 0.4 Farad, that is minus 10 volts over seconds we have found another parameter that is minus 10 volts over seconds let's move to part c to find current and voltage when time approaches infinity time is not equal to infinity but time is approaching infinity so let's make the correction here when time is approaching infinity then the steady state condition is reached so capacitance will be capacitor will be replaced by open circuit and inductor will be replaced by short circuit and switch is open as the switch is open so there is no closed loop to make the current flow through this circuit so current will be equal to zero and as current is zero so voltage will be equal to zero so the final values of current and voltage both will be zero. So these are our findings for today. Happy circuitry.